Now it's gonna be Team Spirit up against Puck Champ. Wait, wait, late. Right, we're gonna see Murata actually get really low at the start. Just one more hit, and it's gonna be Mira taking the first blood. Malik could be in trouble as well. He has the web, so he has free pathing, but he's still being slowed up here, and he doesn't have a lot of space to go. Looks like he is gonna be fine, though. Yeah, we might see him like go in melee range so that uh, like there's not much up. Oh, a nice dodge here. Ooh, Mira, he's committing for it, and he's gonna pay the price here. Nice play by Till the end. Waiting with his stick charges for the end, and Shigetsu is getting so low here. He is gonna get collapsed, though. Mira trying to chase for a bit, but I don't think he's gonna get this Ursa kill. It's, they're still fighting, though. Shigetsu getting so low, just one more click, and he gets it. Just 15 yeah. HP left, but no problem for him. Just outplaying the former TI champions. Shigetsu is still low though, and you can see Collapse, he turned on his killer instinct, and he's just paying a lot of attention, but Yutoro, getting really low here, doesn't have rage, one more click, he's gonna go down as well. I've seen a lot of people you know, go for the arcane boots into the greaves, Soul Ring makes me think it might, I mean, it could be an orchid, oh. Ooh, Laurel, get silenced, he's getting really low, and there is no escape for him, they had damage to spare there, and now Mirposhka could be in trouble as well, but Mira is here, of course, Mira, can't really do anything because he's a level 3 Ricky Remnant through. Young G is really low on mana though, and nice bushwhack from Miposhka. It's gonna buy him some time, but is it gonna be enough? We have a concussive shot following as well, and with the slide of Vist, Miposhka is gonna go down. So 7 and 1 now in favor of Puck Champ. They haven't taken any towers yet, but they have a lot of space on the map. Mira has a DD rune and he's chasing Young G and he doesn't have any mana. This is still risky. Young G getting really low and is gonna go down to the swashbuckle. So that's a nice kill on the board for a team spirit as well. Yeah, much, uh, definitely much needed as well. Oh, no, gets alike. another one. Oh, collapse, collapse has RP. to RP here. And we didn't get to see what was the ratio, unfortunately, in terms of last hit. But it's very much favoring the Ursa. In the meantime, though, Skyrat may just fall. Daniel is going to lose his life. Yator, is he going to be okay here? A slight of but he has got uh, the enrage. He's going to be fine, but he's only level, he's level 6, but he doesn't have a point in his ultimate. So, unfortunately, he does lose his life in the end. It's he's crazy like, how oh much God. Dota heroes change. He does changed. 100 damage to his own creeps. Wow, that was basically all he did. Yep, Ooh, oh, we see an RP on the bottom lane. Follow up into a smoke cloud, and this should be Young G falling, and it is. So that's a really nice kill for Team Spirit. Not yet, at no, least. Might... Could still go me. Poshka is a juicy target. But not quite juicy enough for she gets you to go for the jump. Mira gets the vision as well. Now a sleeping dart could go for a silence. This could oh. be a big kill here. And they're gonna get the first life, but is there gonna be any follow up? Puck Champ is close, and they're gonna get the kill onto Mira. But Shigetsu could still be in trouble. Pops the Enrage. Sleeping Guard coming up. But Yutoro needs to be a little bit careful now with the Rolling Thunder. There's a lot of damage. But the re-engage by Young G is gonna get Yutoro. Is Muposhka gonna be in trouble as well? Just one more slide of fist. Is it gonna be enough? Not quite. Young G, do you really want to commit for this? The answer is yes, he gets the kill, but he doesn't have any mana now. But it doesn't look like anyone from Team Spirit is in a position to capitalize. Rana should be falling here with just another swashbuckle, no leap charges, so Collapse gets himself a double kill. Yeah, normally I don't really like such a late Orchid, but against Lifestealer it's always good. Because you have a few items that can dispel, like BKB, Manta and Satanic, and Lifestealer doesn't like buying any of them. We're ah. gonna get a Sleeping Guard, and there should be a kill on the Brute Mother, even with the Greaves. Or is it? He just walks out, and now we have a Mystic Flare, and Laurel just explodes. Mira doesn't yeah, have anything do have... left, Collapse could be in trouble as well, and Team Spirit desperately trying to retreat here. Not sure if you want to run in here, Yatoro gets silence, but we see a three-man RP. Do they have the follow-up? No! Yatoro is just completely controlled, so you catch a lot of heroes with RP, but it doesn't do anything. And Puck Champ takes a four for a zero. Let's see if they can get a big RP this time with nice follow-up. There is no ulti up on the Ursa, and we see a sleeping dart onto the Murano. This should be a nice and quick kill. But with the four stuff, he's actually gonna oh. survive. It's completely safe. Now the jump by Shigetsu into the RP. There is no ulti. Shigetsu getting so low, but can he turn it around? The answer is yes. Yatoro now getting really low. And so is Laurel. He's gonna go down as well. Young G just chasing. We have another set of searing chains, and Shigetsu jumps in once again. Triple kill for him. 
Four people dying for Team Spirit and only Miposhka still running away, but I don't think there is anything to find there but death and he falls too. Even if you're 13k ahead, but they do find the smoke. They recognize that Mira is here. Yeah, and that's just gonna be a dead Ricky. It's just so easy. They don't even need to commit anything. Collapse needs to be a bit careful. Has an infested lifestealer, so he's gonna be fine for now. But Puck Champ is just running forward without fear. If she gets her, just oh. jumps in. Pops BKB, finds Collapse. Collapse is just gonna live, but it's so close. Can they turn around now? She gets it, doesn't have BKB, does still have his ulti active. Risky. Collapse looking for something, isn't gonna find it, and just goes down. So it's mm. just gonna be a one for one for now. Malik taking a bit of damage, but he's so tanky with these Greaves. Does Pakchamp we'll want lands. to go back in? We see an arrow just slightly miss Yatoro, and they are gonna find Malik. So that's a nice kill. Can they find this Mirana as well? Yes. Till the end goes down. So that's now three kills for Laurel. And it's starting to yeah. look pretty good. Can they cancel the TP? The answer is no. Looks like Collapse is going top. They might be able to find Shigitsu here. Laurel, though, in that fight, MVP, massive damage for his teams. And another snare here. RP? They're not gonna find Laurel here. Bursa is getting pretty low here. He's gonna be fine for now. Pops the Enrage. Doesn't have BKB in a though. Needs to be careful, but so does Yatoro. He just completely gets destroyed. But still, the Ursa is in a bit of danger. Gets silenced, but now the Ricky is gonna go down as well. Three down for Spirit so far. And Laurel isn't gonna escape either. Down he goes. Triple kill this time for Young G on the Ember Spirit. Overall, Puck Champ looking really strong in this game. And I think uh, we look a bit foolish for doubting them right now. Like you need Rolling Thunder, you need RP, you need your carry in the middle of the fight or you're just not gonna kill anyone. Because Ricky is annoying, but he's not... Oh, we find the jump onto the Lifestealer, he's oh, getting really low. Manages to pop Rage, really nice for his staff. And now we see Ursa being engaged upon, but of course he still has his ulti, he still has the Aegis as well, so he's gonna Skyrath. be completely fine. Now we see turn around onto Daniel. And Team Spirit is gonna find a kill here. Does Puck Jump want to keep pushing? Ursa is definitely feeling the aggression still. But with the Nullifier coming out, this could be dangerous. And RP onto three! Huge amounts of damage. Both Shigetsu is getting really low, but no one has died just yet. Young G in the middle of the fight as well. And Shigetsu is still not dead. When is he Dude, gonna Spasher. lose his first life? It's insane how long he's surviving for, but now we see the skewer back onto Malik, pops the cheese. He's still fine for now, but he is gonna fall, and everyone on Team Spirit managed to survive that round. Who have collapse with Yutoro inside. They're looking they for have? a juicy target, but not gonna find it just yet. But there we go, onto Shigetsu. Doesn't have Aegis anymore. Can they find the skill? There is just no damage right here. Yutoro is trying his best. But Shigetsu is still pretty healthy right oh, now, bash. 900 HP and already two heroes for Spillet have fallen. Loro gets off the ulti, but he's not gonna survive and Yutoro just scrambling to get away right here. Pops the rage, but is it gonna be enough? Mira is gonna fall. Miposhka goes for the buyback. Like, we've seen some pretty incredible comebacks from Team Spirit. This would have to be one of them if they have a chance and Miposhka dies. Okay, that's a dieback. Uh, they were not expecting the Hex to come out, so... They're willing to get, go for Mega Creeps right now. Yeah, I, I think they just have to, to go for some one final fight. See if you can 5-man wipe the enemy. And then 5-man wipe them again and then again because, well, they still have tier 2. So you need a lot of 5-man wipes. Collapse. Getting gone on here. It's gonna be completely fine. Yutoro dealing some good damage to the Murana. And they're gonna find that kill. Laurel rolling in the back line, but is it going to be enough to kill anyone with the Guardian Greaves? There's just so much healing. They do oh, find down. Daniel in the end. Can they find more here? They get a nice RP onto two. Both the Ember Spirit and the Brute Mother are going to fall ultra kill for Yutoro. This is why we so rarely see comebacks against Megas. Something like 2% of... Oh, oh there we, we go. see a jump by Shigetsu. He's like, I don't need my team. I'm just going to jump in here. Still has the BKB. Going to go for a man fight against Yutoro, but it's kind of hard against the Nullifier. But he's going to come out on top still. Doesn't have a BKB now. Still has his ulti. Ricky is going to go down, it looks like. But he gets saved. Is he going to die? Looks like he is going to die, but we see a huge turnaround onto Laurel. He's going to die as well. Buys back immediately. So does the Ricky. Can they find something here? 
or are they still just running for their lives? There is still an RP, but everyone on Pachamp is still really healthy right now. Like you said, he's got he's got everything, and he's got enraged. So he's not he's one of those heroes who can like tank the 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 Rosha, Ro sorry the Aegis. The this is a good no amount of damage though, and he doesn't have his BKB, so that's gonna be his first life gone. But Yuturo still has the Fury Swipes charge, just needs to be a bit careful. And there we have the RP, but oh, oh the Skewer is missed! Really unfortunate there, so no RP in this fight. There is also no Rolling Thunder still. So Team Spirit with their backs against the walls. By the way, this double ancient seal is causing them so many issues, and oh, that's a silence. Oh, and that's an right? arrow onto Yatoro. Gets saved by the Wind Waker, though. Is he gonna live here? Gets the rage off, and is gonna survive. Where was she get to there? And uh, yeah, alright, Laws does have the Rolling Thunder available. They need this is such a defense by Team Spirit, by the way. Laurel needs to be so careful. Just a single slip up against the Hex and the Arrow, and someone is gonna go down. It's gonna be Young G, though. He's got he gets him, he can back and down there. Ricky still so annoying to play against without the BKB. Now we see an engagement by Shigetsu. Finally pops the BKB, but gets stunned by the Basher, but it doesn't matter. Yatoro is down. No buyback. Young G goes for the buyback as well. Laurel dies. He also doesn't have a buyback. Everyone in Team Spirit's base just getting so incredibly low. Just three heroes against the tide of Puck Champ, and GG is called. Puck Champ.